Yekaterina, thank you so much for joining me. Mm -hmm. You're welcome. How does it feel to be free? Well, I have mixed feelings. First of all, I'm, of course, I'm very happy to be out uh, and to be, so to say, free, but I'm very upset that Nadia and Maria are still incarcerated. Why do you think you were freed and the other two are still incarcerated? Well, I don't have a, a straight answer to that, but at the hearing, uh, we would talking about me not, not directly being involved in the action that was construed as a crime. And that legal stand, uh, that legal accent, so to speak, um, that was probably the thing that became an ironclad argument for the court. So what do you mean you weren't actually involved? Well, from the formal standpoint, uh, the sentence said that the criminal acts were, were the actual act of the ladies, young ladies dancing at the altar. But it so happened that the security guard um, led me out of, of the church before they started dancing. So from the formal standpoint, I was not directly involved in that action. And today that was the main point of argument against the sentence. And this is probably the reason why the court decided to commute to actually suspend my sentence. Tell me what was your aim? What was the aim of Pussy Riot with this protest? Was it anti-church? Was it hate speech? What was it you were doing? There, of course, in no way did we try to express our hatred. We wanted to express our criticism of the actions of Patriarch Kirill and a few other um, uh, officials of the Russian Orthodox Church, uh, the hierarchy of the Russian Orthodox Church. We believe that we live in a secular state, and in this state, the principles of secular society should be respected. The representatives of the church should not interfere with the politics of the country. So you were specifically protesting the church's support for a third Putin term? Da. Yes. So what is your message now to President Putin? Are you finished with protest? Does this end uh, your action, your political action? No, of course not. We are not finished, no, nor are we going to um, end our political protest. We do have a criticism. Um, all of that remains in force. The situation in the country has deteriorated since our performance. And um, the, the trial itself is a testimony of that. Um, there were certain violations that point to the problem. And in addition to that, uh, one can also see the flaws of the judicial system in Russia. It depends to a very big extent on the opinion and the stance of the president of the Russian Federation. So tell me what it was like for you in jail. How were you treated in jail, you and the other two girls? We were in separate rooms, in separate cells. Uh, we were isolated in special holding cells. Um, and uh, we had three to four other cellmates, and uh, people were sort of cautious. Uh, we were always recorded, we were always on camera. camera. There were some additional security measures, but then um, they treated us in a more even-handed, um, sort of in a calmer fashion. So there was no abuse, there was no punishment other than being in jail? No, of course not. No, no, nothing of the sort. And how do your other two friends feel? What do they say to you about being separated from their children? Both of them are mothers of young children. Well, of course, they're very, very upset about um, doing their term in jail. But they're holding up very well. When they meet, when we meet, when we get together, when we were um, going to the courthouse, uh, we were very happy to see each other and we just shared our experiences. What are, they, what are they saying? I mean, what did they say to you after you were freed and they had to go back to jail? They congratulated me. They were very happy for me.
And they wished me all the best. We hugged and uh, we were all very happy. So are you afraid as you continue? You said you wanted to continue your protest. But look, you've just been in jail for many months and there are increasingly laws and other such things that make protests very difficult in Russia. Aren't you afraid? To be perfectly honest, I never felt the fear, I never felt scared. There was nothing extra scary, even in jail. But uh, naturally, I will be more cautious in my actions going forward. We have to act in such a way so that they do not know, do not learn about the concerts uh, ahead of time before it's too, too, too soon, so that we wouldn't be caught and uh, jailed afterward we would have to somehow get round the authorities to deceive them in some clever way. But you would still go back to a cathedral, for instance? Well, the concept of our group is such that we never go back to the same venue. Once we have one performance in one venue, the next performance will be in a different spot, in a different place, on a different subject, uh, on, a, on another political subject, but they're different. So just based on this assumption, uh, we are not going back to that particular cathedral. Have your feelings for President Putin changed? What do you feel? What is your message? Well, my attitude to President Putin has not changed. I have a negative attitude. Um, I do not want to talk to, to turn to him um, personally. To me, this is just a formal position that unfortunately has turned into a mega authoritarian project of one single individual and that's the problem of authority in our country as I see it today and I would like to see an end to that. Um, I do not want to see this, this authoritarian regime that we're seeing in the person of President Putin. Do you think the other two girls will have to serve out their sentence? Do you see any path for them to be released anytime soon? I think anything is possible, and uh, today the situation showed that it's, it's really unpredictable. We can make any kind of forecast, but how it's really going to play out, I'm not sure. I really had not expected this release that um, happened today. Your case, the case of Pussy Riot, caused huge amount of attention in the outside world and a lot of support for you. Inside Russia, it's more complex. You didn't get overwhelming support. Do you think that what you did has damaged President Putin, has made him think differently about things, has changed the situation in any way? Oh, yes, certainly. I, am, I believe that a lot of people have started thinking and maybe took a stronger point of view vis-a-vis -vis, uh, Putin and uh, the authorities as we see them today and their policies. And the fact that they let you go and not the other two, do you think that's a clever tactic by the authorities to sort of divide you, divide and conquer, let one go, keep the other two? Well, I would say this is very clever and sort of cunning uh, policy, but it's hard to say why they decided to take that particular course of action. This divide and rule policy, I don't think it's going to work out. I don't really think so, because the rumors that there is a kind of split in the group, um, there's no truth to them. There's never been any kind of split. We remain together, and uh, that's why we're, we're strong. We're not even, you know, there's not a hint of a split. And if anyone tries to picture us as being split, this is completely untrue. And, and finally, after all of this, what is your message to the Russian people themselves? What would you tell them? I'd like to express my hope that our action in the cathedral was com correctly understood by the people. Uh, there was no religious hatred uh, or animosity. Uh, this was a political action aimed at, uh, the, at the authorities, at the uh, convergence of the religious powers and the political powers. And I want people to understand that. Yekaterina Samusevich, thank you so much for joining me. You're welcome.